I'm Brock Romanek, the driving force behind Zippy Point. Today, Kevin LaCroix joins us to talk about Dino Insurance, an area for which he is known as the man. That's not only because he's been in the field for almost 40 years wearing all sorts of different hats, but because he's been diligently blogging about the topic for nearly 15 years on the DNO Diary, a truly tremendous blog. But Kevin does have a day job. He's the guy you hire to help negotiate your coverage with the DNO insurance carrier. He's a lawyer. The DNO insurance stuff is legalese intensive, trust me. And he serves as executive vice president for RT ProExec, a division of RT Specialty. RT ProExec is an insurance intermediary focused exclusively on management liability issues. By the way, if you're new to Dino Insurance, make sure you check out the right side of Kevin's blog. You'll see some nuts and bolts about Dino Insurance today on Zippy Point. So, Kevin, who are the players in the Dino Insurance market? Who are who? offers the insurance, how many, I have no idea even how many players there, there are. There are many, um, and depending on who you are and what industry you're in and, and where your headquarters are located, um, it could be as many as 30 or even 40 insurers. Um, the public company DNO space in the United States, particularly for primary DNO, is dominated by a few global insurance carriers. Um, now the largest by market share is AXA XL, um, and then uh, the two um, probably um, following um, insurers are AIG and Chubb. Uh, for many uh, domestic U.S. companies, particularly those in the tech sector, um, they probably have their primary insurance with one of the Lloyd syndicates, um, Hiscox or Beasley, um, um, or one of the many other uh, Lloyd syndicates that uh, provides insurance in the U.S. for U.S. public traded companies, but there are a host of others, Zurich, CNA, Houston Casualty Company, um, and then there are um, many that provide excess insurance that may not be household names, Sampo, um, Swiss Re, Munich Re. So there are, there are a host of, of players. Um, the, they may not participate in all programs. They may not be interested in all, all potential buyers. So for any given buyer, it's some subset of that larger universe. Um, and uh, the cast does shift due to mergers and due to changing tastes, changing appetites, um, opportunism by new players. So it's a constantly changing cast. Yeah, I would think, I know particularly in the last year or so, it's been a hard market, you know, if the rates are going up. So I imagine that means that more and more Insurance companies might not want to be in this kind of business, but maybe they do it as a way, an entree to get other, you know, meet other insurance needs of a particular company. Yeah. Is that true? It, it is. Uh, you know, uh, DNO insurance is kind of a gateway product. You know, it's one that the C-suite is focused on. So it often is a good way to develop a longer term relationship with an insurance buyer. Um, you're right about the current marketplace. We are in a so-called hard market, meaning that um, the cost of DNO insurance relative to even just 24 months ago is quite a bit higher. And depending on what kind of buyer you are, it could be significantly higher. Uh, life sciences companies, IPO companies, financial services companies are paying considerably more than they did even a short time ago. Um, and that has affected the cast of characters. Um, I don't think there's any character that's pulled out altogether, but they may have made it clear that there are certain segments that they're no longer going to participate in. Um, for example, IPOs, the, the uh, number of insurers that are willing to write primary on a, an, an IPO um, is much smaller than it was three years ago. Um, and the terms and conditions that are available are, are much uh, narrower and it's much more costly. So um, that is, it's a cyclical business and we're definitely in uh, the part of the cycle where it's uh, um, difficult for buyers and the, the product is expensive. Well, thanks very much. Yeah.